this is your first station here. This is your triangle station. And we're gonna learn how to find the area of a triangle. So the first thing that we're gonna do is take our first triangle on your paper. And I want you to draw a, we're gonna complete the rectangle here. So you're gonna use the same height and same width as your bottom and side of your triangle are. You're gonna create a rectangle. And then we're gonna do that to all three of these because in just a minute, we're gonna go ahead and cut these out. Now, this one over here is kind of weird because it's not a straight line up and down. It's not perpendicular, but that's okay. We're gonna still build this rectangle with the same height as your triangle and same base as your triangle. And then over here, this one's even a little bit more tricky, but that's okay. I'm gonna still go ahead and draw this. And when you're done drawing these, we will pause your video and you may go ahead and cut these out. Okay, so now we have the first one cut out for us and we're gonna use this triangle right here. And this was the first triangle. We're gonna label base, I'm gonna label both of these for a second, base and height. Base and height, that's lowercase b because it's not the area of a base. Okay, so when you're looking at your triangle, my base was four centimeters and my height was eight centimeters. All right, so now I want you to pause your video and you're gonna cut across from corner to corner on your rectangle here. Don't throw that away, you're about to use it. All right, so now, well, if we looked at our rectangle, how many square units would there be? All right, that's right, it would be 32 square units because a rectangle, it would be length times width, or in middle school, we call it base times height. So four times eight is 32 squares. Now, what we want to know when we're trying to find the area will be how many square units would be inside of this triangle. Well, we just cut this in half. So what's half of 32? That would be 16. So on my triangle here, my base is still four and my height is still eight. But we're not using the whole rectangle anymore. We're only using half of it. Because, and I know it's exactly half because if I take this and I stack it up right here, I'm taking up half the space. These two triangles stack up perfectly. So try that with your triangles. You can pause the video if you need to. So if you wanted to count all of your triangles here, or count all of your little square units, you would have 16 square units. Now you'd have pieces of them. They'd be pieced together and that's okay. But you would have 16 square units right here in this triangle. It's half of that rectangle that's created. Okay, we're gonna head over here to this one, the second triangle which was this one. My base this time was eight, and my height is always perpendicular, so my height was straight up and down, it's four units. Okay, so I want you to cut out, you already cut this out here, now I want you to cut out the pieces that are around your triangle. If you have these pieces right here, you're gonna have three triangles that go together. Now we've still worked on our, um, on our same base and height, but we, we don't know. Are we using the same number of squares? Look, I took away some of these square units. So how many square units are in this triangle now? This time my base was eight units and my height was four units. Well, it's kind of funny because these two pieces out here are the same size as this one, or those two pieces together. We can actually just turn it around and stack it up again. You just turn these and they all stack and again, it is exactly half because they stack up evenly. So one half of 32 units would be 16 square units. Okay, and our last triangle here is this one, the bottom one. Okay, so my base is all the way from here to here and that is eight units. Now remember, we count the spaces, not the lines. We don't start counting a one right here. We count your one after one space, okay? My height is straight up and down. Now I have no point in this triangle that I can measure straight up to the top. So sometimes I have to measure over here to the side because I need to know straight up and down how tall that is. And my height is four units. One, two, three, four centimeters. So at this triangle, we're gonna go ahead and cut off these two extra pieces here. All right, so when I cut this, you have yours done now, okay? This one again will still turn and be one half of that rectangle, okay? Even though we, we started with a rectangle, we're only gonna use one half of it again. Now this may be a little bit trickier on how you spin this and make it work. 
let's see. There's a way to do this. Right there, that stacks up, and then this little bitty piece right here. It all stacks up and still creates your triangle. So, what did we learn from this? Okay, every time that we have a triangle, if we work with our base and our height and we create a rectangle around it, the area of your triangle is exactly half of the area of the rectangle. Okay, you're about to have to pause and rephrase that in your own words, or you can say it in my words, that's fine. The area of your triangle is half of the area of the rectangle around it, as long as the base and height are the same. So my formula that we're gonna learn here, you're gonna be writing it down in a minute, is area of a triangle is one half of base times height. So on any triangle, if you, if you know your base, your base could be across here, across here, or across the bottom here. Take your base and then your height, multiply them together and it's one half of that. All right, you're about to do some practice problems on your video.